by the gods! Stay back! He readied his sword for his first real fight. He must felt his training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. Largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save his fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. This is important for the sense of atmosphere. <sighs> Hermes, my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers? Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Day of spring and my first kiss all rolled into one phoenix got into the ambrosia too prometheus you worried zeus about losing this bet please he can't use it anyway yet phoenix's destiny was becoming clear so far all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle and typhon Grow stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if he fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, King of Gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo? If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real. Let me go! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach... Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Immortals has been out for quite some time, and I finally get to test it on Linux. There's been quite a few issues with the game which has been addressed in the Proton GE 743 patch, which came out in December 2022. The game has also been released on Steam which makes it easier to install and run. The audio sync issues has been fixed and the slow motion effect seems to also be gone. That said, the game now runs out of the box and runs really well on my system. It is not a very well optimized title and the CPU usage is still very high for the graphics that you get. I decided to benchmark the game against Windows and I was pleasantly surprised that Linux absolutely destroys Windows in this game. I also tested the differences between DXVK 1.10.3, which is the default in Lutris, to the newer releases of DivX 2.0 and 2.1, and the difference was massive. I'm yet to test this out in more DX 11 games, but I think it's safe to say that DXVK 2.0 and higher is the way to go. 2.0 was a little faster than 2.1, but this is in the margin of error. Now onto the game itself. I really enjoyed playing it, and the witty humor is a breath of fresh air. The combat and lore is really satisfying. It was worth the wait for me. I highly recommend this game. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and cheers.